What's going on guys, Ryan with Diana Patrol, back with another video today. We've got Snow Speeder Luke from Hot Toys. I'm super excited, let's check it out. That's right guys, we are back today. Hot off the press. I mean like super hot, like as of a couple days ago released. Snow Speeder Loop by Hot Toys, the 40th anniversary box, which is pretty stinking cool. And I had to break out my Black Series X Wing helmet because, you know, obvious, well, obvious reasons, because it's freaking cool. I like that very much. Uh, if you're wondering where I got mine, I got mine from Pop Collectibles. There's a link in the description below. Uh, I've got Django Fett that just got here, Moff Gideon just got here, and they just shipped the classic comic origins Iron Man thing that I, i'm excited for that one. i don't know if anybody else i'm excited for that one so if you want to check out uh first day or second batch releases uh pop collectibles link in the description um snow speeder loop super excited for this just quick just a quick talk about the box it's it's your normal slipcover box uh and uh, i already have the trays and everything out of it but you would see them in there and it's pretty good looking. Like, I don't really care about boxes so much, but Hot Toys does take time to make a 40th anniversary box. I think it looked pretty good. Got this nice little silver foil action going on right here. On the side, you got a photo of the figure, another photo of the figure, and all the whodunits on the back. And then, you know, some stuff right there. So, pretty cool stuff. So, I'm wondering, and we got to determine this by the end of the video, I think, how many of these do we need? That's the question. All right, let's get into this. We've got them out of the box. We saw the 40th anniversary box. It's all kinds of awesome, right? So this is what you're going to get. For those who are curious, you got a little thing of hands. So those are, yeah, whatever. Uh, I have taken the liberty to get all the plastic bits off of the figure. And I've already learned something. So I'm going to try and save you guys some drama because I have bad news about this figure, which we'll talk about in a little bit, I guess. It's actually... It's actually quite sad. So, anyways. All right, so we do have this helmet, which is absolutely glorious. This this helmet, let me just say, helmet's glorious. We'll take a take a closer look at this in just a second. I freaking love this thing. So you got a helmet, and we'll just get all this stuff out of here, and then we'll take a closer look at it if I can, if I can uh, get these pieces out. It's got his little, uh, his little skull cap, which is interesting. Got a nice little block there with the, the magnet. And the uh, back of the skull goes. It's got this nice little strap. There's that. You got a, uh, you got a nice little blaster. Okay. You got a chin strap, which this right here, I hate this thing. I'll, I'll show you why. Uh, we've got the rope gun there. That one's pretty, this is, this is actually interesting. So we'll get into that. Uh, we'll get some lightsaber. Got a lightsaber hilt. Got a lit. You got a little swooshy lightsaber, so that's cool. You get the figure. It's awesome. Uh, and then you get a diorama base, which is is okay. Uh, I don't really like this so much, uh, but we'll, I understand why they did it. Um, but it, it just there's something about this I don't... Oh, look, it's already lost a little nipple. Well, that sucks. All right, anyways, here, let me get this. You got batteries, which we definitely won't be messing with. Get that out of here. So here, here's our diorama base. So it's interesting on this. You got this little piece right here that attaches. It's a little, you know, plastic piece or whatever. It's solid resin, probably, I guess, or PVC. It's nice. It's got some nice blue touches to it. It, um, it, it looks more like, to me, it looks more like granite than it does snow. I don't know if that's translating because it's awful white. Uh, but it definitely looks more like granite than snow. And you've got a couple of switch outs. Uh, for the base. So you got a snow one, you got a, like a Dagobah one, right? Uh, and then you get this one for Hoth. So I don't know, this one's attached. There's your uh, Luke Skywalker symbol there. Uh, this one's attached. These are not, um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna display mine, but I'll probably use this. It's not bad, it just doesn't look, really look like snow. So there's that, um, so there's that. Uh, helmet wise, I, I do think we should take a closer look at this guy because I think he's freaking cool. Um, so we'll kind of zoom in here. This helmet is glorious. Now it does come apart. I'll show you how to put it on the head sculpt in just a second, um, but it is quite good looking. I have the Black Series um, X-Wing helmet from, uh, from Luke and uh, this is way more weathered than that. Um, but um, I really do quite like this thing. 
It's very, very nicely done. And I hope we get some more helmets just like this with some other characters. Maybe, maybe a Dak figure. That would be cool. Maybe a Porkins. Like a Porkins. That would be kind of cool. Maybe a Wolf. A Trapper Wolf. That would be kind of cool as well. So that's, that's pretty nice. Um... It does come apart, so you can actually put it on the figure. Uh, you will have to include it with this little thing right here, which is a nice little skull cap. It's got nice, it, it's it's nice. It's it's nicely painted. Um, eh, whatever. Look here. This is stinking cool. This is his rope gun. And um, I, I knew, I don't know, I totally forgot about like how this thing was supposed to work. But this is actually kind of interesting. I don't know that I will use it, but I'll show it to you. Uh, it's got this nice little red uh, missile here, I guess, if you will. Silver paint, got some bluish gray, got some black grips, and got some springy thing going on. So the way this thing works, this part here comes out, and then this section here separates. And then there's a rope wrapped around this pole, right? So if you wanted to undo this thing a little bit, uh, it would be kind of like, if you put this back in here, it would be kind of kind of like that. And you can extend that rope as far as you wish, I suppose. And if you don't want to, you can undo this, kind of wrap it around this pole one more one. I don't remember which direction I had it wrapping this way. Can you kind of wrap it around this guy right here? And then, uh, and then you're back in business with that. I think that's pretty cool. This is a nice little rubbery thing going on here. Uh, but I kind of dig it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Kind of like it. Uh, we got a nice little blaster. I dig this. This is actually painted well. I actually do kind of like this. It's actually nice. I mean, a nice little wooden grip down here. Nice little, like, silver chromish paint going on. It looks more metallic than we've seen with other blasters like this. Uh, nice uh, heat, heat uh, dispersion going on there. Got a nice little scope action. Yeah, I kind of I kind of dig it. Looks pretty good. However, we also have some hands, which is not a lot, honestly. Uh, so let's get these out of here. We'll take a look. You do have two hands, obviously, that already come on the figure. There are two gloved hands uh, that are relaxed. Uh, so you get two uh, gloved hands that are relaxed. You get some saber holding hands. Uh, on, on gloved hands, and then you pretty much get uh, a blaster holding hand that is skin toned, ungloved, blaster holding hand. You get a couple saber holding hands, and then you get a relaxed uh, a relaxed hand as well. So those are nice. Get a lightsaber hand. Don't really care about those. I, I will never ever use that. And then you get this guy, which is magnetic. This is, you can attach uh, to the rope. It's actually pretty cute, and I just, oh, did you see that? Did, did you see that? It literally just fell in there. Perfect. That never happens. I should just end the video right there, but I'm not going to. So let me get you out of here. All right. Let's talk about this, this guy right here and why I'm already a little bit upset about this, this figure. So uh, before I started this, I said, you know, let me check the instructions and uh, let me figure out how to put the helmet on the figure. Like, let's, let's just figure that out. So let me go through this with you guys. The instructions are, there's the helmet. The instructions are, by the way, the instructions, if I show you this, they're like the, on the back. This is nice little Saga Continues, Empire Strikes Back movie poster backing. It's kind of cool, right? Uh, but on the instructions, you'll get this. I would definitely recommend opening up for this one. Uh, it shows you how to put the figure, the helmet on the, you know, remove the hair and do the whole thing. So I'm going to walk you through this and I'm going to show you exactly what went wrong. Okay. So just bear with me, all right? I already know what I did. It was, and it wasn't, I did not cause the problem. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Sometimes I've, I'll own something if I break it, but I, I, didn't, I didn't do this. So on the helmet, okay? This, this pains me, this pains me. The hair comes off, right? Hair comes off. And we'll take a closer look before I put it all together, but I just wanna show you what went wrong for those curious. Hair comes off. This goes on on the head sculpt, right? This helmet comes apart in a couple pieces. So this back piece right here, you, you will see there's a line right there and you can get a fingernail in there and you just pull up. And that part right there comes off. Simple, right? Easy. These two pieces split, there we go. And this lens uh, it has tended to go to either side. I don't think it's really quite a, anyway, the, the lens goes there. 
the lens does move up and down. You can move it up and down a little bit there. Uh, and that's, that's, that's how that goes, right? So as I was doing that, you've got some other things that have to happen, right? You got to put this guy on the head, which I will show you. Take this off. And you definitely want to take the head off of here because messing with this poofy jacket when you're doing it is just sucky. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to show you this. So you got to put, well, you, if you do it the right way, probably way better. All right. All right. So you got to put this guy on here, right? Which looks pretty good. Then you put your helmet on. Boom, boom, boom. Do this. Okay. This, this chin strap, the instructions say the chin strap needs to go on the chin and in between this, the face and this. Well, on mine, this is what makes me really, really quite angry. On mine, okay, you see right here, this is supposed to slide in there. On mine, there's this little, here, let's see if I can show you. See that little bit of mark right there? It's like a little nib of plastic that was stuck on there. It's like this little tiny, tiniest little thing, right? It's the tiniest little thing right there. You can see it's not on this side, but it is on this side, and it's, tiniest little thing and it has left a little bit of battle damage on my Luke right there so I'm quite not happy about that I plan on displaying my Luke with the helmet on so you know that's okay and I'm probably gonna buy a second Luke anyways but I would say that so you don't have that same issue and you don't you do you just you don't have a bad day like like that sucks right that sucks so I told you about it. That's all I can do. So if I put the hair back on this guy, like, here we go. It looks pretty good. I mean, you can't really see it there, but I know it's there. It's kind of one of those things that's just kind of sucky. So this particular Luke has, uh, has the little, I'm staring at something scary eyes. It's got that going on. The head sculpt, I think is quite, it's quite good. Honestly, I really do think it's good. So I, I do like it. I like the hair. I like the paint applications on the face. Um, I like the coloration on the suit. Uh, I, I, I was not expecting to be as weathered as it is. I wasn't expecting that, but it's very nice. And this suit jacket material is like straight up jacket material. Uh, I do have some concerns about longevity with that. Uh, you do have a double... Oh, oh, come on now. Oh yeah, there you go. You do have a you do have a double bin there. I'm about to make myself look like a liar. Do you have a double bin there? But um, there's some nice weathering going on here. And then the pant coloration, the difference in colors from here to here is pretty drastic. It's pretty drastic difference. This is more of a a red orange. This is more of a yellow orange, and it works. Um, nice weathering again along the side. You got some pleather belt action. You got these hoses and this blue and gray and it just it it looks fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, pleather, I do not like these. I do not like these, but there it is. That's for his blaster. Uh, and you got, instead of sculpted belt pouches, we have pleather ones, which sucks. Those should be sculpted. Um, but yeah, look at this thing. It's quite good looking. And check this out. I he's, he's got like a pair of Cole Haan Bergano shoes right here that they turned into boots. Anybody, you might recognize those. Those are Cole Hanberganos. Um, or Alan Edmonds. I guess Alan Edmonds probably got something like that, but I'm a Cole Han guy myself. Um, this right here is pretty nice. This is a nice, like, soft material, but look at this. Boom! It's connected, but you can get some serious movement out of it. I like that. And I'm not worried about this peeling or flaking or any of that. I think that looks fantastic. We got a spot over here, got a hook for his, uh, his saber. Kind of dig that. Another D-ring there. And then, of course, you know, got double bend knee there. It looks quite good, guys. What are your thoughts? I like this thing, but really, the main deal um, is what it's going to look like posed up. So we're going to have some fun with that. I'm still mad about this, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Let's pose it up. So despite the mark on the face, which, again, you can't really see it with the hair on there and the helmet and all that kind of fun stuff, despite all that, this thing is flipping glorious. And it is honestly everything I was hoping that Hot Toys would deliver with this Snow Spear Luke. I hope, I would love, fingers crossed, can we get an X Wing Luke? I, now, is that double dipping? It's not double dipping. It's a different thing. X Wing Luke. Let's get it. Let's get all the X Wing pilots. Let's just let's just get them all. Just, just whichever your favorite pilot, put it in the comment section. Anyways, Blue Leader. 
I freaking love that. Uh, the whole scene. And especially from Rogue One, although it's prior to this film, that would be amazing as well. So just there. But let's take a close look at this guy and some uh, some decent lighting and uh, just appreciate how good a job they actually did. This is a simple uh, museum pose for you guys. And, and I really think that's where this character's going. It's a hero character, right? This is uh, this is one that's uh, you're not going to go crazy with. Um, I don't know how many people are going to be picking up the uh, Jazz Inc. Diorama's Snow Speeder, the one six because it's freaking huge. Um, so that'll be a thing. I don't know how many people are going to double dip and buy multiples of this and just repaint the helmet or put a different head sculpt on it or, or what. So I'd love to hear from you guys uh, in the comment section. But let's, let's talk about this guy for just a second. Um, the boot detail, I think, is just super cool. Like, it, it, it works, right? And then he's got this, like, the straps going up and the orange and then the, the belt and the um, D-ring there for the uh, saber hilt. Uh, that thing's flipping amazing. I did remove the gloves, which I do have one nitpick about the gloves. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, just, just everything about this thing. And then look at this head sculpt we got. I mean, it, it's the – I'm going to say it. This is the best – Luke figure they've released to date. I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm saying it. Somebody can fight me in the comment section. Uh, best Luke figure to date. I flipping love this thing. That's released. And we're still waiting on the Bestman Luke and uh, the Mando Luke and all that kind of stuff. But this is absolutely the best for me, in my opinion. Just, just like this. I, I don't really, honestly don't even need to do any other poses. For me... This is uh, this is pretty. It, it's all I wanted. That's it. I'm simple, so I like it. Your thoughts in the comment section down below. I will do some more poses. We got some other accessories, and I'll talk about those gloves for one second. So these gloves have gauntlets, just like if you've had Darth Maul figure, you know exactly. Or this, if you have Darth Maul, you understand. So it's got these gauntlets, and then inside those gauntlets are those little nib cover things that go over the wrist joint. The, uh, the plastic joint. Those are a nightmare. So they're just like the Darth Mauls. I would recommend removing those because they're going to tear up. They're going to flake. They're just not going to last long. It's just one of those things. Now, if you put them on there, it just makes the hands harder to get on. It's definitely easier on this one than it was on Darth Maul, but that's just a nitpick for me. It's a tiny one, but it is what it is. All right, I've broke out the dire on my base and he's got his slippers on. Out in the snow, so let's see what this guy looks like. I think he looks pretty stinking good. We're going up. I've changed the pose. We've got a little lightsaber action going on. And we have placed the helmet on our hero who is ready to, uh, well, he's ready to do whatever is necessary, honestly. Dude, come on. I freaking like this thing. I can already tell you I'm going to get more than one. I, I have to. I need a squadron of these guys, straight up. Not even kidding. So I'll zoom out, let you guys look at the pose a little bit better. Um, not difficult to pose, honestly. One thing I did notice is the getting the head with the helmet back on the body, it requires a little more force than I'm comfortable with. But attaching the helmet while the head is on the body or around that collar is more frustrating. So be careful with that. You know, there's some there's some difficult things with this figure, but I, I don't I don't mind the diorama base at least in this particular pose. It's something I would put on the shelf. I wouldn't have any problem with that. Um, I love the difference in colors of orange between the pant and the jacket. I freaking love the helmet. The head sculpt I think is on the point. It, it's just mm, it's just good. And um, I just I don't know. Maybe it just maybe it's one of those things where we just waited for this thing so long that we're just happy to have it. I mean, that's definitely a thing with Hot Toys. They make you wait so flipping long. But look at that. That's straight out of the film, guys. That is straight out of the film. It's a little more poofy, but he was on Hoth. And, you know, it's cold, and he's got a little poofy jacket going on. Um, so the jacket's a little poofy. It's got plenty of range of motion, double bends in the elbows and knees and whatever else. Uh, decent torso twist, nothing crazy, but you want to be careful with the hoses and that, that jacket he's got on. Um, but... Yeah, he looks pretty stinking good. So, yeah, let's do another pose. So, you know, I had to break out something pretty cool, which is this uh, Luke on Tauntaun versus the Wampa 
statue, a sideshow. It's a diorama piece. I don't know what they call it, really. I think it's just a diorama um, in the background. I think it's one seventh scale, if I remember correctly, or one eighth. I don't remember. Anyways, whatever it is, it's in the background. Uh, that Wampa is amazing. And I put it back there because, honestly, Hot Toys, we need a Luke on Tauntaun, and we need a Hans, a Han on Tauntaun. And for the, why not just throw in a Wampa as well? Uh, I did break out Lord Vader here, give you guys a little bit of a, a uh, contrast in size, as it should be. Obviously, Vader is quite a bit taller than Luke. I'd say by about an inch, pretty good size. And uh, you can see like how puffy Luke is looking there in that puffy jacket. Reminds me of that Seinfeld episode with the, the puffy coat. Um, but um, yeah, Vader, Empire Vader. If you don't have Empire Vader, this is a custom uh, cloak for... Uh, or cape for uh, Vader, by the way. Um, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So uh, for those wondering, there's Vader looking all kinds of ferocious and doing all kinds of cool things, looking amazing. Uh, there's our uh, Tauntaun back there, Luke getting all jacked up by the Wampa. And then here's the stars today's show, uh, which is this particular Luke figure. So I got mine from Pop Collectibles. There's a link in the description below if you want to pick one up for yourself. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. I'm happy I didn't have to wait months and months and months for it. That's awesome. And um, I'm happy it's in the collection finally. So how many of these do we need to make a squadron of... I, like I've been already building clones, guys, but a squadron of X-Wing pilots, snow pilots might be a thing. It very well might be a thing. I, I just... I like it that much. The question is, like, what head sculpts would we put on it? Um, I like a lot about a lot of this about what Hot Toys has done, especially those flipping shoes, the way they did it, so posable. I mean, Spider-Man posability. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, so I'm super excited for this. I hope you guys like this video. We've got uh, Django Fett, obviously, is in, in the house now, and we'll be doing a video on him. And the classic Iron Man, the classic concept Iron Man, is on the way as well for Pop Collectibles. So if you want that, there's a link in the description below for that. I'm super excited for that one as well. And uh, yeah, as always, click what you like. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do so. We've got a giveaway coming at the end of the month. See you next time.